Hello, welcome to Simcha, a celebration of life. I'm your host, Nikki Wallman. Cape Townians Ben and Esther Levitas recently held a musical soiree to raise much needed funds for Save a Child's Heart in Israel. Idan Reichel, a goodwill ambassador for Save a Child's Heart, was a guest of honor, and he shared his passion for the organization and the good work they do for children in Africa and other third world countries. Save a Child's Heart is the most amazing organization. It is an organization started by a Dr. Ami Cohen, who went on an expedition in Africa and saw that there were actually no pediatric surgeons anywhere in the developing world. And children were dying because they couldn't get a simple heart operation that was a small hole in the heart, these children would die by the age of 15, 16, because there was no surgeon. Today, those operations are done easily, quickly, without any hassle. Although it is a major operation, they have very few fatalities. So Ami Cohen saw this opportunity and he decided that he wants to open a institution with Wolfson Hospital to bring children from the Palestinian authorities, Africa, um, Asia, and many other parts of the world. I just felt that I really needed to, to bring Save a Child's Heart to South Africa. They told me that they have an exhibition and I got very excited. We then opened up the exhibition in May at the Artscape, and the exhibition ran for a whole week. In fact, we raised enough money for two surgeries. And thanks to Save a Child's Heart, these children can carry on living. Save a Child's Heart is a great organization that I that shows, I think, the humanity of the Jewish world and the professionality and of the Israeli doctors. It's kind of a mix between these two. I'm honored to um, help this organization to raise money all over the world. Thank you. Idan Reichel is an ambassador for Save a Child's Heart. When I was in Israel, Simon Fisher, who is the director of Save a Child's Heart, he introduced me to Ya'ara, who is Idan's manager. So he then said they would give a concert for, or a happening for Save a Child's Heart. I'm trying to raise tonight the airfares for two, another child and its mother or whoever to go to Israel. So whatever we raise, it doesn't matter what people give, it all adds up and we can save another child. <laughs> we are all working for one cause and that is to save children's lives. There's no politics, the children are from every race and creed. And that is what it, that's what it's about, is building a tikkun olam, repairing the world. Music has no boundaries, no borders, and does not discriminate. The Israeli-based Idan Reichel project, through its immaculate sound and multicultural diversity, shows that music truly is a healing element. Simcha was fortunate to interview Idan on his recent trip to South Africa. The 
the Indar Reichel project uh, is about 85 or 90 musicians and singers that I was recorded. I recorded with them songs that I wrote or co-wrote with, with co-written with, with a few of them and produced it. The youngest member of the project is 16 and the elder, the young spirits are 79 and 83 and 89 years old. Um, they all came from different places, from Yemen, from Morocco, from former USSR, from South America. Uh, even one member of the project from, from here, from Soweto, uh, um, Johannesburg. It became like a movement that people just join us. And I can see myself today as the director, maybe, the artistic director, and even uh, if we compare it to a film or to a, or to a movie, I see myself as, as a director for many scenes of this of this movie. So I sing one one song if it's if it's reasonable that makes sense that I will sing it. Yeah. The lyrics um, mostly are I I got inspired from from many sources from my life, from love songs, love experience, or for, from uh, biblical quotes, uh, the songs of Rabbi Shabazi 400 years ago, uh, the great poets from Yemen. Music, I grew up playing accordion. So I think it's a, it's a world music instrument. So it sounds different from the music of Sweto and, and, and South Africa, or, or the music of the tango of Argentina, or the waltzes of France. So uh, the music, I think, at the end of the day, it's, uh, it's inspired by folk songs. <laughs> The highest form of 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 of, uh, of music, I think, it's it's folk songs because they last for thousands of years. You know, the music of the people, the music that came from tribes. No matter if it's uh, African tribes or or if it's it's a uh, it's uh, communities that live lived in, in in Poland or in Spain. So I think this is the roots for what we are. I think that uh, what makes uh, Israel to be such a beautiful place is that many people came to Israel from all over and it became a melting pot one of the most interesting and exciting moving melting pots. Um, it's, you can see in one block people that are many generations in Israel and then the neighbor next door is, is from, from, from the hardcore villages of, 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 of Ethiopia and then ne next door you can find a great violin player that played in the Philharmonic Orchestra of Moscow. It's just the beauty of what the faces of the Israeli society. I think that uh, the beauty in the Jewish world sometimes, you know, I, I was just in the shul of, of Rabbi uh, uh, Goldman in, um, in Johannesburg. 
and I had non-Jewish friends with me. And they say that they felt so welcome. There is something, you know, sometimes you come to a, a shul of an ultra-Orthodox, ultra-Orthodox synagogue, and, you, and you, you feel pretty lost. Although, when you come to an Afro-American church in, in Harlem, it's immediately, it's like gospel, and you feel like it's a, it's just, take your energy up. So I think that the Judaism of, you know, if we, if we will be able to update the software of the Judaism to, to our decade of Judaism 2011, and to have rabbis such as Rabbi Goldman from Johannesburg all over the world, to uh, show the beauty of the Jewish world in a contemporary way. I think this is the message that I wish for the South, Afri South African uh, community here, the Jewish community, and all, not only here, but all over. <laughs> And that's all we have time for this week. We would love to hear your thoughts and feedback. So please find us on Facebook at Spirit Sister Productions Network. As always, from me, Nikki, and the entire team, shalom and have a safe and peaceful week. <laughs> Let's <laughs> go.